a dynamic warm up one. Uh, I do most of the warm ups with my athletes with my shoes off, strengthen the feet so your toes can grip. First thing we're going to do is straight leg march. Now, not everyone has the uh, ability to have lots of room to do this. If you want to do this moving, you do it for 10 yards. If not, you can do it in place, 10 each leg. We're just going to do everything in place today so those that don't have a lot of room can understand and still can do this warm up. Now it's important to bring your feet to your hands and not your hands to your feet. Keep your hands shoulder height and raise those legs up, trying to kick your hands. Now we're going to get an inverted hamstring stretch. Pinch the shoulder blades together, balance on one leg, raise the other leg, keep your hips as level as you can, and then alternate. Again, we're going to do 10 yards or 10 reps each leg. Should feel a stretch in your hamstring, but again, we're working on hip extension. Pushing those hips back, and then bringing them forward each time. Keeping your back nice and flat, spine tall. Now we're going to do Spider-Man's. You're going to lunge. Keep your back leg as straight as you can. Take your elbow to the instep of your foot and then straighten your front leg out. Then step back and repeat with the other leg. We'll do five each leg or 10 yards. Now notice I'm moving at a pretty good pace. One of the reasons we do this dynamic warm-up is to increase our core temperature of the muscle, get rid of any stiffness we may have, so we want to do it with a good pace. Next one is going to be lateral lunge. We want to make sure we sit the hips back and we don't push out as we step. We're going to sit back in a chair. Keep our opposite leg straight, then we're going to pivot, do the opposite one. Again, in place you can do this, or alternate as you walk. We're going to do five each side. You should feel a good stretch right here in your groin as you do this. And again, working on getting lower each time. Okay, and we're going to cross over, reach behind. We're going to cross the foot over, reach behind, and try to touch our heel. And just alternate each side. Again, you can do this for 10 yards each way, 5 yards each way, or 10 touches each way. The further you reach behind, the more of a stretch you're going to feel. Again, our goal is to get those fingertips on the ground as we do this. Now we're going to do a quad stretch. Stretch our quad, pull that knee back till you feel a good stretch. Grab the ankle and knee and pull up. And we're going to simulate going over a hurdle. Repeat each leg five to ten times, or ten yards. Now I'm starting to get a nice little sweat going. That's what you want. We're preparing the body for movement. This is going to reduce your chance of having muscle pulls, injuries like that. Get those muscles all the way, turn it up to their full potential. Okay, now we're going to do inchworm. We're going to walk the hands out, keeping our legs straight, pressing the heels into the ground, and then walk the heels or the toes to the hands and repeat that. Walk the foot, feet back out. Hands to the toes now. Now I'm going to walk the hands out, 
keeping those heels pressed against the ground, and then walk the toes to the hands. Repeat this five times. If you can't keep your legs straight, just go to where you can. So if this is as far as I can go, then I'll just walk back out and repeat that. Just continue to work on that range of motion. That's one of the keys of this exercise, or this warm-up, is taking the body through all the different ranges of motion we're going to be using in exercise. Taking each, each limb, each body part. Now if you want to take this exercise to the next level, you can walk out and do a seal push-up. Where you come down, up and through, then walk the hands to the feet. Then walk the feet back. Repeat that. Five times. Dynamic warm-up number one.